All right, so for this video, we're going to look at email templates, which basically are the signs that you can use when sending emails. And for each email that you send out, broadcast, auto response, or automation email, you'll be adding the content to the template before it gets sent. The template is how you um, how your content is presented. So you find the option under your account settings and email designs. You can create your templates based on our or own built-in designs, or you can make your own from scratch using your own HTML using our templating language. So let's take a look at this one. So this is basically how the design looks and the options that you have. If we go one step back, you can see this is the overview of all your email templates. You can see your start one, so this is the default being used. You can uh, create a new broadcast using this design. You can duplicate it, you can preview it, or you can even delete it. So let's go ahead and add a design. So you can see here that uh, email templates are designs that you can use when sending emails, as mentioned. And you can see we have based on two templates. So you have simple or plain to create your design on. So we believe, and the data also shows, that simple text-based template designs converge, convert at a much higher level. And these two designs reflect just that. You also have the option of creating your new template, but we'll dive into that later. So let's take a look at this one. So inside you have some options. Let's call this one demo template. And you can see again here it's based on the design of simple. You can also change it here to plain. You can choose a header image and here you'll see the details on our recommendations regarding that. But you can choose any image from your media library. And you can also link the header image to a different URL. Here you have some options regarding the body text. So you can choose font, size, line height, text color, link color, and also for the footer, recipient specific footer text color, background color, pre-header and legal footer text color, and background color. And you would be able to see it reflected in here when you make any changes. So for example, if we change the link color, you see it reflected here in the preview on the right hand side. And with the style, you even have the option, if you know, and uh, can use custom CSS, you can add it down here if needed. So when you're happy with your changes, you have the option of saying save changes, save and continue editing if you're not done yet. And you can also preview the changes in a new window to see how exactly the email is going to look. Once you're done editing, we can also go back um, here to the overview. Um, but let's say that you're not entirely happy with um, the design options. You also have the option of, um, you know, creating your own. So if we just go back to the overview here, you can add a design again, and you can create a new template from scratch in HTML. So here you will be provided with the current HTML code that you can go in and edit if you know HTML coding. And you have everything here um, that you can go in and edit and add to if needed. So once you're done with your templates and have the one that you want, um, you can even see here broadcast using this design, library emails using this design exactly. But the one that we have created um, was the demo template down here. So you can see if we want to go in and write a broadcast using it, um, you can head over to marketing, email broadcast, create a new broadcast, and here you can even see the frequently used designs, but also the one that we have created if you want to use that one.